Have you ever Googled the most hated country in the world? As you can imagine, Israel is consistently ranked in the top five. Let's face it, in a lot of circles, we're just not that popular. With that said, if you research the happiest country in the world, Israel tops the list. The Asia Times published an article called, Why Israel is the World's Happiest Country. By objective measures, Israel is the happiest nation on earth. It is one of the wealthiest, freest, and best educated, and it enjoys a higher life expectancy than Germany or the Netherlands. But most remarkable is that Israelis appear to love life more than any other nation. So I want to take a second and really ponder these two points, because they don't really match up. Think how bizarre it is that a country that's so disliked by the world ended up being the happiest of all people. With all this negativity from around the world focused on this small population living in this small country, and here they are, the happiest people in the world. Come on, that's incredible. The real question is why? Thousands of books and seminars, therapy, workshops have been created just to figure out how to make people happy. And here, the Israelis bested them all. How are they able to overcome so many obstacles, challenges, and negativities to live such positive lives? I've met thousands of people in my life that have moved to Israel, and I'm always fascinated and inspired by people that are so committed and dedicated that they're ready to take on the entire world. And I ask them, what's their secret? And all of them pretty much say the same things, just in different words. When I ask them about their secret, they all say that they feel like they're living the dream. In their mind, they're living the hopes of their great-great-grandparents, and they have a vision of how the Jewish people should be living their life, and they're executing that vision every single day. Who in the world today is living their dream life? Who in the world today is even asking the question about the possibility of living their dream life? That's really what this time of year is all about. It's the time of year once every 12 months where we take a step back and think about the last year and think about the coming year and what our dream life could be. Your dream life right now may not be in Israel, but Israel is our reminder. Israel is a reminder to the world that we're here to live our dream life.